This video is sponsored by EcoFlow. You can find the product in this video as well as others through my links in the description. Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to take a look at the new EcoFlow River 2 Max portable power station. By the way, EcoFlow are currently having a Black Friday promotion where you can get this and other models at significant discounts, as well as free bonus items when you buy certain others. Also, you can use the discount code on the screen and in the description for 5% off a Delta Max. And now back to the new River 2 Max, the power station I had the chance to look at for this video. It is, essentially, a power generator-like device that runs off of an internal battery rather than a motor used to generate power. So, a large power bank with an AC inverter, allowing you to use things that would normally plug into a wall outlet while out and about away from an easy access to the power grid. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you may have seen an older video where I built a portable charger for use with my One Wheel XR. That was a dedicated DC to DC power solution, and it has limitations that keep me from being able to charge my current ride, an 84 volt DIY one wheeled skateboard. That one takes a bit more than my old power bank can provide, and even though it has more range than my old one wheel XR, there are days when I'm out riding all day at faraway places away from an easily accessible outlet. So, throwing this River 2 Max into the car when I'm off to ride the long stretches of paved path that Long Island has to offer makes it a lot easier to just ride for long stretches, come back and charge, and then keep riding in the other direction. Some days I actually will make a couple of stops riding a path in Bethpage and then packing up to go to the Jones Beach path that stretches for tens of miles in a single direction. It's really good riding whether I'm on the one wheeled board or an e-skate. Anyway, the EcoFlow River 2 Max, spec-wise, is pretty impressive. The size of it is also fairly small. Internal battery capacity is rated at 512 watt hours, which covers more than a full charge of my 84 volt DIY, with enough left over to top off my phone easily. The internal battery uses a lithium iron phosphate chemistry, which I can appreciate in a power bank use case like this, because that chemistry does tend to be more stable over time with regard to cycle life. So while it's not the most energy dense chemistry of lithium ion battery, it is one of the most robust, which is appropriate for a power station type of device like this. It can be charged from either a wall outlet, at which point it actually will charge fully in a bit less than an hour, or from a car's 12 volt DC, or from a solar panel or other DC input. Incidentally, you can also charge this power station through the USB-C input with power delivery, which is pretty cool. EcoFlow does offer a solar panel to charge these units, which may be great for camping and hiking trips where they can be set up. For this specific round of testing and my personal use case with my boards, it's not necessary for me. Now, the River 2 Max is rated at a continuous output of 600 watts with a burst ability of 1000 watts. This is about double the wattage ceiling of the regular River 2, and for use with electric rideables like the ones I use, that extra wattage is very much needed. The charger I usually use with this board hits about 350-ish watts, as it's an 84 volt, 4 amp charger. If I want to use my 6 amp charger for a bit quicker turnaround, that draw gets bumped up to a bit over 500 watts. The charger I use for my Eastgate is a 50 volt, 8 amp charger that runs at about 400 watts. If I charge my phone and my Skydio drone, which I tend to bring with me when I go riding far out on Long Island, then the higher headroom is very much needed.
The accompanying app is fairly nice and gives you a good picture of the charge and discharge status of your devices, and allows you to switch on and off EcoFlow's X-Boost, which is what allows this power station to hit a peak of 1000 watts. You can overpower the draw from the River 2 Max, especially if you're plugging in multiple devices that have significant draw. For example, a resistive load like this hot water kettle is a bit much, since it essentially just sinks power into a heating coil. That hits 500 watts, and if I try to plug in my board charger, it's not entirely happy with it. Which is fine, because once the water is boiling and I'm ready to brew my pour over, it takes very little power to keep the water boiling, and I can start charging my board while I make and enjoy my coffee. Obviously, this particular shot was not done outside, but the principles are still valid. The primary use of this River 2 Max for me is, and will continue to be, a portable charging station for the boards I've been building. There's a nuance to making a straight up DC to DC power bank, and the available parts when I start getting into higher voltage projects usually means I have to plan something entirely new and can't adapt something I've already made. Having the River 2 Max in the car when I'm off on some kind of riding adventure or have a full day off for riding makes a lot of the DIY stuff something I can put away for a bit and just enjoy the riding experience which recently is something that's been in short supply. I build and fix things every day in the repair shop, and having this here to just charge up, toss in the trunk, and use to keep my ride going has been very enjoyable and quite appreciated. If you have an electric rideable like the ones I use every day, and could use some off-grid charging, these EcoFlow units are definitely worth considering. Many thanks to EcoFlow for sending this River 2 Max out for review. It has gotten some excellent use and will continue to for quite some time. Again, feel free to check out the links in the description, as well as the promo codes for discounts if the River 2 Max or other models of power stations strike your fancy. As always, take care of yourselves and don't fall.